Hello and gentlemen, I'm Big Captain Gamer, and welcome to another team prep for this week. I'm your coach for the Golden State Whoopers. And this week, guys, we're going against Josh and the Four Stuff for Alligators. Now, I'm not wearing my beanie I always wear for the team prep videos, mostly because I'm wearing my Golden State Warriors hat, which is the closest thing to having Golden State Whoopers hat. Until I can actually get one or Golden State Whoopers shirts, that'd be pretty cool as well. But I'm far from that. So, this is a battle I've been waiting for a long time. Now, that English style. I team prepped by myself this week again, and things are kind of looking up because let's take a look at his team. It'll be right under me, or to that way, I think. So, somewhere down there. Somewhere. But his team is Landers T, Megasizor, Keldio, Hydreigon, Rotom Heats, Gudra, Delphox, Sneasel, Galley, Cradily, Claydol, and Zengoose. Now, let's take a look at our team. Where's my mouse at? I clicked in. I think I am. So, his biggest threats are land. Well, not biggest threats, but Landorus T, Claydol, and. I think that's all now. And Cradily, I guess. Those are the biggest threats. And since, what is the recording time at? Alright, um, that's the big. Those are the biggest threats, honestly. And I'm not saying because, oh, they could sweep my team, but because they live hits. Because doing some damage calcs, Blizzis and Pre-K are going to be the biggest team members this battle. And we can't, let me see why. A V-Create from Pre-K will demolish a Mega Scizor. Um, of course, I'm going to outspeed it. Okay. A Keldeo will not live a play rough from Blizzis. Okay, even at max HP, max defense. And I when I, when I calculate, I calculate max defense and max HP, and depending like what hit I'm hitting with. That'll, that'll determine my defense and maxing. Okay. Hey, Drago, I will not have a play rough. Okay. Rotom Heat actually is another scary one. Cause I don't, like, this, this, he's going to be, he's there right now. But I'll get to that a little bit. Gucci will not live a play rough or Dazzling Gleam. Delphox will live an Aqua Jet. But I have sl Mega Slowbro for this, which I'll go into a little bit. Um, Sneasel will not live a V Crate. Galade will not live a Dazzling Gleam. And uh, Zangoose will not live a close combat from our teammates. So let's take a quick look at our team. First off, we have Blizzis coming back for another team, uh, another week. We have Golden State coming back, especially closing now. So we have Golden State coming back, and then we have Pre K, the Victini. We have Play Doh coming back. I think he was gone last week, but he's going to play a pretty good role this week. We have making his debut on the team all the way from, I think it was RU. We have Little Mac Kim on Chan, and then we have Mega Slowbro coming back for this week. Now, let's look at the movesets and why I picked them. First off, we have Belly Jam, Aqua Jet, Play Rough, Knock Off, a standard set I run on my zoom rolls. Now, I zoomed his, I put all his uh, uh, EVs into HP, and I put all of them into attack, and I put like four into special defense. This is what I normally run. Now, HP is there so I can live a hit. Uh, attack is going to be there, you know, so I, I can do damage and then the defense is just there So I could probably live I could hopefully live I my mark my desk here So I could hopefully live like a Thunderbolt. I'm not gonna have a Thunderbolt. I know that He's holding Citrus Berry, of course. That's the center thing. Huge power is there to double my attack That's there. But we got, let's go on the Golden State. Why do we pick Golden State? Okay, now Golden State is He's carrying Ice Punch, which is going to be there for the Claydol, the Landorus Essentially, because you know, worst case scenario is going to come down to Claydol and uh, Claydol, you, you know what I mean, Claydol, Landorus, and Cold, Golden State. But, anyways, he is uh, unaware, that's his ability. If you guys are not unaware, it basically means that I ignore every single stat change. So like, oh, you want to set up all your sword dances, well, that's not going to affect me because I'm unaware. So, basically, it's like there's no stat changes allowed. So, you'd be like, oh, you can be max defense, Ice Punch is still going to do normal damage to you. And I also have Earthquake Recover and Toxic. And the Toxic's there for the stall. Why am I running leftovers? Let's go, let's go to Lumberry. There we go. Now, the reason why I'm running Lumberry because someone tried to Toxic me. Okay, Lumberry pops. Boom. Okay. If I am running Toxic, even though it's only one time use. I'm running Toxic so I could link. I stall them out. I recover. I stall them out. Earthquake's there for stab. Ice Punch is there. You know, just worst case scenario. Dragons and. Lenderous and, you know, Claydol. So Pre-K is coming back again, he's going to be a big member of this team because he is Bolt Strike, V-Crit, U-Turn, Dazzling Gleam, 
I am not running a scarf, banded, or specs this week. Last week, what was against Ginja, he was saying, oh, he has to be banded. Saying, I don't run banded at all. And I should start running banded, honestly, because scarf's not really going to make a difference. Because I'm really going to speed a lot of things, because I'm basically 100 speed. But, um, no. What was it? Bolt Strike is, I don't think it's going to really do that much to run. I didn't actually calculate if I have him. I should do that after this match. But V Crate is gonna do a lot of damage to lots of things on his team. Most specifically the Scizor, the Sneasel. Um, I don't have his team pulled up anymore. But now, he's there. And also running a right white herb on Victini this match because once you hit use V Crate, it's gonna lower your stats. White herb changes that so you, it goes back. So I get off two V crates and then I can switch out and need to switch out. U turn is there for switch out and Dazzling Gleam is there for fighting types. He, is, has, he does have a Galade and you know, it's either going to be play rough or Dazzling Gleam, either way it's not going to live. Plato is here this week to specifically set up. Okay. I said Self Rocks, you know, set up, we're going to set up once only. Sticky Webs are going to be there because that is priority right there. I need to get those off. In fact, uh, if he does, uh, Claydol is a spinner, so if he doesn't bring Claydol, then it's going to be kind of scary because I can move those set up so early. But it's station, so he can't switch out on Body Slam is there because once Plato does what he needs to do and he doesn't if he doesn't have a spinner then I'm just gonna I'm trying to set up to like there's no tomorrow of course I set up all into defenses and I run into attack because you know body slam is there and if I get the paralysis off of uh if I get the paralysis off with ignore that with body slam you know that, that's that's an extra that's Plato putting an extra work so little mac is here this week he is not keen I don't know why he is Iron Fist. Now, Little Mac, I love him on Chan. It's one of my favorite. Okay, Iron Fist, is it his hidden ability actually? Let me see. No, it is not inner focus is hidden ability. Okay, so I will not. Uh, Sucker Punch is banned from this. So, if you guys don't know what Iron Fist is, it is basically it boosts all pun like, punchy moves. So, like Ice Punch, Thunder Punch, Close Combat. Push was Close Combat. Every, every kind of punchy move except Sucker Punch. Now it, it works in a sense like tough claws or a strong jaw, which sure is called strong jaw, where like it boosts like tough claws is like oh boost dragon claw and stuff like that. And then strong jaw is like boost the bite and stuff and crunch. Well, this boost is like again iron punch, thunder punch, fire punch, close combat, power punch, and all that. Now I usually run bulk up on my hitmon chan, but I do want power punch instead. Okay, if I get one power punch off, power up punch, and then that gives me plus one attack or push sure is plus one attack or plus two. I don't remember exactly that's off my head. Let me check this real quick. It boosts it by one. All right, so that'd be good. And then close combat is there for the Sneasel worst case scenario. Is it there for Cradilly for sure? Ice Punch is there for Cradilly as well because that is also a tweet too. And you know Landorus Claydol because those are like Landorus Claydol. I'm saying that because they're the biggest threats to me because I cannot one shot them like I could probably do anything everything else. What's that noise? But I run Expert Belt because Expert Belt does boost like the attack. Like, let me see. Let me read the, the perfect description for it. Uh, where's it at? The holder attacks that are super effective against the target now do 1.2 damage. So that is pretty nice. I did, is this is gonna be adamant him on Chan with full H or not full HP, but full attack, 120 boosted uh, HP and 136 defense. Now that's kind of normally good. So Stone Edge is going to be there for the Rotom Heat. What is Rotom Heat? It is Rotom Heat. Because I have nothing really to check the Rotom. So it's going to be kind of a big help. And in the sense of that. Because, uh, what else can I do with this? I mean, Del Fox, that's also there. Um. That's really all. If he, try, he does want to bring the Zangoose, then, you know, you're still going to destroy it. Last but not least, we have Slowbro. Make a Slowbro. I did not name it. I did not name it. Give me that. Alright. Name everything now. Boom. It bugged me the name was on here. So of course I'm running Skull Psychic Amnesia and Slack Off. Amnesia is giving me the special defense boost. Slack Off is going to give me the HP back, and I basically I could be a good stall. I have pretty good defenses. Um, I am running Skull and Psychic. Of course, Skull is for, well stab, but I'll get the burn off. And Psychic is there for stab and as well. And what the work work offline? Why am I offline for? But yeah, that is uh, essentially all it's my EV set. I did. I'm kind of going out of my comfort zone. My comfort 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 zone. Jesus, when it comes to uh, like EV spreads, because I'm running HP defense, special attack, and then I'm running special defense, 
So like, I'm not really no regular attack because I have nothing to worth it. But uh, this is kind of my team now. Make sure everybody has a nature. I'll do one quick overview. Everybody has an item. Item, 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 item. All right, I think we're good. Validate, because I'm pretty sure this is illegal. There's nothing that's not legal. Validate. Oh, I'm, I'm offline. It won't work. So, anyways, hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like, button, subscribe, guys. Have your YouTube channel, the Faith Foundation. Into my Twitter and all the music you use in the description below, along with the link to your Twitter and all that. Goodness, with us, guys. I'm Faith Guys. Other rounds of gamer, and I'll see you guys next time.